Okay, everyone, welcome back to the Cranbourne East Secondary Podcast. Once again, we've got myself, Mr. L, and for the usual... Myself, Mr. Y. And we also have two special guests for you today, everyone. Two, not one. So <laughs> let's start with my left over here first. We have... Mrs. Mitchell. Yep. And hey we guys. also have... Miss Fallon. Awesome. Thank you both for coming on. No problem. So, um, some of you might be wondering, some viewers, I don't know if it's still not common knowledge anymore. <laughs> Do you still have students asking if you two actually are siblings? I still have people when I say, oh yeah, my sister works here, they're like, what? So, I thought it was common knowledge to everyone, but yeah, I think some students still don't have a clue. Yeah. How <laughs> yeah. about your end? Same thing? Yeah, no, a few people have just sort of been Miss Fallon and they've sort of like, they're looking, they're like... There used to be a Miss Fallon here. Do you know if it was Sons of Terry? Yeah. yeah, so. Yeah, and having this doesn't exactly help no. with trying to make the resemblance match either, does it? Yeah. Mm. Uh, do you both teach very different cohorts? Is that why? So, Mrs. Mitchell, I'll start with you first. Like, what are your general classes and what cohorts do you teach? Yeah, so this year I'm teaching um, year nines and year eights. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I think, especially some of the cohorts that, because um, I changed my name at the start of mm -hmm. last year, yeah. so, and being in remote teaching and things like that, so a lot of students didn't know me as Miss Fallon, whereas, like, the year nines, the year tens and elevens, they did, so they've clued on to it. And we've, and we've got one year nine class that we both teach, yeah. so 9B, Oh really? Uh, oh. Miss Mitchell teaches and I, and I teach, and they, they were sort of like... <laughs> What's going on here? So, yeah, yeah they, oh, they do, so. interesting. Yeah. If I knew this beforehand, maybe we should ask 9B for some sort of like, <laughs> which teacher is more? Yeah. <laughs> Make it a bit of a competition. What, huh? do, what do they do the same, like similarities wise? So yeah. Crazy. So, yeah, pretty mm -hmm. crazy. Um, yeah. yeah. And so, Miss Fallon, uh, with your classes, you teach United, of course, mm -hmm. and any juniors as well? Yeah, so I, I came in, I've, I've sort of been all over the shop um, this mm. year, but I predominantly um, started the year with year sevens and year nines, mm -hmm. um, and then uh, through my changeover uh, in the middle of the year, I've picked up a year 10 class as well. So I've got year seven, year nines, year tens, and I've also briefly taught uh, when Mr. Struth was on yep. uh, paternity leave. Um, I took the year 11s for that oh, six weeks wow. block. So, hmm, short amount of time I've been here, but I've definitely got myself around exactly. <laughs> four different year levels. So, yeah. <laughs> That's full on. I, I don't know about you, Mr. Young, but for myself, this year I'm luckily three year mm. levels, which isn't too bad. Yeah. How about you? I'm also three. Um, so, I have seven, nine, and ten. Mm. And luckily, they're, they're, they're pretty easy to work with. Like, they're well behaved, and like the names are. Rather easy to remember, so uh, <laughs> that's the biggest problem for me. Yeah. It's like just remembering is like just looking at the student and being, I know you, I just don't know your name. Yeah. I'm so <laughs> sorry, mate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How are you doing? <laughs> yeah. So today, since we have our sibling guest on, I thought I'd want to ask some questions around. Um, first of all, teaching in general, because. Um, I am assuming both of you didn't start off at teachers at the same time, did you? No. So, uh, who actually decided to go into teaching first? So, I feel like I'm being age shamed here. I'm, I'm, the, I'm the older sibling. Um, so, I um, went to Ballarat Uni and did a, a PE uh, education uh, bachelor. Um, and then um, I ended up back uh, at Cranbourne Secondary where ah. Natalie, uh, in my first year of teaching, was finishing up her year 12. So I'll let you guys do the maths oh, wow. of, yeah. of that. Um, mm -hmm. Obviously didn't teach her. Yep. Um, and then um, I like to say that I'm Natalie's inspiration in life, that, yep. um, that she then follows me because she ended up going off to, to Ballarat Uni as well. So, uh, okay. um, yeah. And then our mum uh, is also, mum works in education as well. She's now uh -huh. uh, an integration aide. So, okay. It's great we're all on school holidays together, but uh, oh, yep. yeah, so uh, she followed me into, into teaching. Can't deny it. <laughs> she definitely inspired you? Yeah, no, she really did. We pretty much, if you look at our, our backgrounds, we all pretty much the same thing. Like Cal got Caltech's all around her in year 12, so did yep. I. So we all had a bit of a laugh, and then yep. she went off to Ballarat Uni, and so did I. <laughs> um, but the only difference is that then she started Cranbourne Secondary, and I started at Cranbourne East. Yes. So there's an East in there, so yeah. it's not the same. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and and I've, I've got to slip it in here that uh, that Miss Mitchell actually got the high, uh, sorry, I got the higher ATAR score than Miss Mitchell, but she got directly into uni. I did a year of tape before getting into uni, but oh, no. I just want to get that on record. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the scores is everything. 
<laughs> yeah, my scores is not that's good. It. That's, yeah. Doesn't means nothing. So yeah. that was the irony. We had a bit of a laugh about that. Yeah, so. we did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because I actually wanted to ask a little bit about that family background because apparently there's like statistics around if both parents are teachers. I think there's like an eighty percent chance or something that mm -hmm. a child would want to go into teaching. Mm -hmm. So now, now I realize you only had one parent that actually was in the education field. But do you have other family members as well that really well, influenced well, you? My mum. So uh, dad is a, a is a truck driver. And he's mm -hmm. grown up driving trucks and buses and things like that. Uh, mum uh, wasn't in integration, um, so oh. she was um, originally a stay at home mum. And then when when we Sort of got uh, older. She then um, left her job in retail and then uh, upskilled herself oh. and went into um, education or integration aid after yeah. we'd both become teachers. So we oh. inspired her. We say that. Ah, yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. 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 But, if, but if we look in our, our family, we, we do have um, we've got yeah. two aunties that have been in, in childcare and um, an education system. Yeah. Uh, we've got uh, another cousin who was was a teacher. Um, so there is quite a lot of us when you put it together. But mm. um, yeah. 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 Hmm. How about you, Mr. Young? Did you have any uh, family members that influenced you into education or teaching in general? Okay, so my parents actually <laughs> never finished school Good. because mm -hmm. um, basically what happened was they had to m migrate and all do all of that stuff. Yeah. Um, the whole like idea of me going into school was just mainly because they were like. You need to have good education. <laughs> you need to have good education, and then eventually just became, I shall try to provide good education. Yeah. yeah. And then just went from there. Yeah. Yeah, no. mm -hmm. yeah. Um. Yeah. Same thing with my side. My parents didn't really finish school either, but I do have some cousins overseas that end up being teachers. So, I I do say that I did follow the family tradition because half of them are kind of like teachers. And the other half of them are doctors. Oh. <laughs> so I'm like... Over, overachievers. Exactly. <laughs> so exactly. So when I was young, definitely my parents used to compare me to my cousins, but they would always just talk about the, the doctor ones, right? Yeah. And then so now that I've grown up as a teacher, they're like, yeah, not bad actually. <laughs> we, we, we spend, it yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's, it's like, yeah. <laughs> I ain't mad about that. Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> yes, teacher so, represent. Love yeah, it. <laughs> exactly, because uh, as they would used to always uh, compare me to my older brother, talk about, oh, you know, your older brother's got better grades, so we expected him to be a teacher. But mm. yeah, <laughs> with the both of you growing up, <laughs> yeah, with the both of you growing up, were you ever compared in much things, would you say, either by teachers at school, if you had common teachers accidentally? Um, like, yeah, or I always joke about it because I say, like, when I got, because we went to Cranbourne Secondary, yeah. um, Cal made the way, yeah. uh, then my brother ruined the way. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, he was, he's very, very smart and he likes to remind us that, but he just oh, um, didn't want to apply himself, just like, you know, mucking around kind of the class clown. Yeah. So, um, yeah, had a good reputation in the way of Cal and yeah. then it wasn't so much, they would kind of work out was I Rob or was I Cal and then I think they worked out I was more Cal. So, um, restored, yeah, restored, it wasn't, right? yeah, so I've restored the, yeah. the Fallon name and stuff, <laughs> yeah, so, so it's good. okay. <laughs> but, um, yeah, in regards to like comparing wise, like mm. parents and things like like, yeah, I don't, I don't know about you, you can say the same, but yeah, mm. I never, like mum and dad were just proud no matter what we wanted to do, yeah. so they only wanted the best, so. We've never really been compared or anything like that. And then mm. by the time, like, uh, as there's yeah, the difference between us that I, I'd, I'd finished school, so there was yeah. not not really that sort of mm. thing. So, but that's very true about our brother. As well. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, and he used to he used to joke. He's he's gone out down the trade path and he earns a gazillion more dollars than we do. And yeah. he's always mm -hmm. like, you teachers, you have. You know, 48 holiday, 48 yeah. holidays a year. He used to he used to make fun of us, but now that he's got young kids that need looking after when they're on school holidays, ah. all of a sudden it's really convenient that there's there's, <laughs> there's two sisters and and and, and mum who are in the on holidays as well. So exactly. handball for babysitting. Wow. So now it's all of a sudden it's a really convenient yeah. job for him oh. for babysitting purposes. <laughs> oh, always. And uh, Mr. Young, because you have an older sister, I, I know. Do, yeah, I do. so was there any comparisons with you two growing up, do you think? There was a bit of comparison. So um, they quickly realised that my sister was more suited for um, stuff like accounting and marketing, oh, where okay. I was more suited for science. Mm. Yeah. Um, but the comparison would always be like, oh, yeah, your sister, I used to teach your sister. You kind of get a free pass now. And I was like, <laughs> really? Oh, nice. So oh. it was like, they, she, she paved the way for me. Yeah. And then I just tried to maintain it and mm. would probably annoy the teacher a little bit too much by being one of those kids that always put the hand up and then the teacher's yeah. like, I know you know everything, <laughs> please. I want to see if everyone else knows everything. Let me show you, let me show you. <laughs> yeah. 
I mean, I went to the same high school as my older brother as well, but the thing was, he was one of those people where he's so quiet that he just slips through everyone's radar. Yeah. So even though, like, they see my name, they're like, hmm, kind of looks familiar, but can't really make a reference point anywhere. Just the name sounds familiar. I'm like, this student? They're like, huh. Yeah, I think I taught them two years ago. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I'm like, oh, great. So that's the way that my brother paid for me, yeah. which is really good. And <laughs> actually, what a lot of people don't know is that I actually had to change my name to Tony. It's not actually on my any official documents, but it's because my older brother who came in before me into schools, he had the first um, part of his name the same as my first part of my name. Okay. So, if students, if you look on campus, technically, you'll see under Mr. Leung, it says Kai Hong, brackets Tony, right? Oh, yeah. And so, my older brother's Kai Chi. So, he came to school two years before me and was like, hey, Kai, hey, Kai. And I just came to school, I'm like, well, I can't take Kai anymore. <laughs> Jeez, I've got to think of something else myself. So, I, I love that. Tony. Randomly thought of Tony myself. <laughs> so, yeah. Funny. Love it. Yeah, so. That's Actually, it would almost, almost happen to me and my sister because. Really? Because um, in my. If they, we used our Chinese names, mm -hmm. then that would have definitely happened to us. Mm. But we used English names, so then it would be like, nope. Mm. I, I, I love that when I'm looking at a role at the start of the year. And I, I'm so Australian, I pronounce it. Oh, so yeah. as, it, as it is, that's how <laughs> yeah. I pronounce it. Yeah. And I'll try and I'll, I'll, like, I apologise in advance. And I'll be mm -hmm. like, da -da -da, and they're like, Mish, just call me Bill. And I'm like, so, yes, <laughs> yes, Bill. Yes. Yes. Like, yes. There we go. I love that. Exactly. Yeah. I love it when yeah. they say that. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's so good. Yeah. <laughs> That happened to me th today when I was taking a cover and I was just reading names and then so many of them I could not pronounce yeah. and I'm like, I am so, so, <laughs> sorry. so sorry. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. A little bit of anxiety at the start of the year when you get your role and you're oh, just yeah. like, I feel like I'm always saying, I'm sorry in advance, I will get there, like I promise. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And because, so Mr. Jung, you were talking about how people compared yourself and your sister in terms of subject wise. Mm. How about the both of you? I mean, you both ended up as PE teachers, but in high school, did you actually both enjoy the same subjects, would you say? Or was or there quite a big difference there? Um, I mean, we were, we were both like got involved in the sport. Like, mm. we, like uh, probably, probably me more so, like, I would go out on any sport day yeah. I could. Mm. Um, whereas, like, we, we, yeah, we always played sport and things yeah. like that. Um, we didn't really have the as much choice um, okay. as like when I was going through. It was set subjects up till year ten uh, that we got to pick some electives. But yep. even the amount of electives, there wasn't a huge range that you mm. could choose from. Yeah, yeah. Um, but but also like in reflection now, like we, we both did outdoor ed, um, yeah, like PE, <laughs> um, obviously maths and English, mm, um, yeah. sort of thing like that. So, but there wasn't probably the range that there is here. Mm. Um, that could choose from so yeah, yeah probably the only difference that i think like i got into like the performing arts yeah. like i loved oh. doing that so i did the drama yeah, the and things like drama. that so okay. yeah i was a bit like my year 12 subjects were like when i explained to people i was like i was literally like nearly covering like all of it like wow. i did outdoor ed and pe i did two masses and i did performing arts and i did english so yeah. it was like just <laughs> so random so yeah. like some took my score up some took them down so yeah. um yeah, but I, that was probably the one difference yeah, that like yeah, I like doing the performing arts as well. Mm. So yeah. Yeah, yeah, but everything else I think very similar. Mm -hmm. yeah. Did you do similar subjects to your brother? Um, yes, but not because I really wanted to. That's the best way to put it. Because he's really good at maths and sciences and stuff like that. I actually love like history, English, literature, and that type of thing. Uh, I know it sounds very generalistic, but it did happen growing up. My parents were like, well, you're not going to find a job in like specializing in English and literature and history. Get into maths and science. And I'm like, oh, great. This is great. Because <laughs> I was so bad at maths at high school. And I feel like that's one of the reasons why I actually like teaching it. Because I can break it down to very, very core essential mm -hmm. levels. And yeah. I find it really helpful. Whereas my brother, his brain is just like shortcut, 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 yeah, answer. Yeah. And so he finds it a lot harder to teach. So yeah. that's me. <laughs> yeah, so it, it, it did suck a bit because in my parents' eyes, it was like, these are the subjects that's more important. Oh, look at your brother. He did so well yeah. in them. And these are not so important. Yeah, it doesn't matter that you're doing well in them. So, mm. But no, I think, you know, I, I've made my parents proud. They look at me where I'm at now. I was like, you, teaching maths, really? They're, they're not going to harm the kids? I'm like, no, trust me. <laughs> I've got this. I've got this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, we used to get compared with a lot of other things as well. So, for example, he was the better cook. Um, he was a better swimmer, but I was better with music and stuff like that. So other than the school side of things, 
like if we ask a few questions on who is the better what, do you think you both will get the consistent same answer every time or do you think you'll get some disagreements? Uh, we'd probably have disagreements here and yeah. there, I think. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> yeah. So um, we do it like hands up for if you think you're the better one. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Okay. I like that. So let's start with <laughs> one. I'm going to ask who is more punctual? Ooh, we're both. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, we're, we're, we're yeah, both pretty, we're both pretty good with this. Okay, so yeah. you both rock on the same time. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Over to you, Mr. Young. You choose one. Oh, this one's hard. Um, who is more likely to just go on a walk and just drop everything behind? Uh, I'd probably say that's me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm. Uh, who's Who's more of the pet lover? Who likes... Oh, that'd be me. That's definitely you? <laughs> yeah. like, don't like uh, having pets at all? We, we didn't grow up with pets, no. so... Yeah, yeah. We, we had a, a puppy when I was very young, and then when it passed away, yeah. we, we never replaced it. Mm. Um, yeah. I, I know what you're thinking. Yeah. I, no, okay. I have a story. No. I have a story. <laughs> sure. <Yeah. laughs> okay, so, yeah. and then we... <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell it because uh, this is honest truth, yeah. and I think it needs to be out there. But anyway, okay, this, here we go. this is what I wanted. Um, yeah. So then we, we did get, uh, yeah. I'm I'm not I'm I'm get, definitely getting better now as I get older around pets. But we, we did get a, another uh, <laughs> a little dog, and it was uh, and I said flat out when we, before we even got the dog, I said yeah. I'm not walking it, I'm not cleaning up after it, I'm not uh, like it's it's not my pet. It was yeah. more for for Natalie. And, yeah. You know, so this this they, we got this dog and um and. I'm not animal cruelty. Please don't go down that path. Don't, 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 don't call Peter and like that. Um, and, I, and I was true to it. And I, I, I didn't give it much affection. And it would bark. And I, I had the window at the back of the house, so it would, yeah. it would wake me. And, and I would get quite cranky at the yeah. dog. And and it did run away a few times. And when we found it out in our estate and come back. Yep. And then there was one day that it came. We came home, and 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 the dog was gone. Yep. And the, the side gate was open and, uh -huh. and, and and it looks bad in, in my because I was the person that was home yeah and but I hand on heart did not leave the gate open <laughs> and what turned out my uncle had been mowing the mowing the lawns uh -huh. earlier and hadn't closed the gate properly yeah. and it had blown open and yeah. dog got away but then the accusations were there but hand on heart I did not leave the gate open but I, there's I, still a little bit of doubt I <laughs> did you know the other day I was literally talking about this I don't even know why it came up I think someone asked me about a dog and I said we had a dog and I maintained my sister opened it and was like no off you go run free run I free I definitely did it's not it's so believable I definitely I still, she hasn't come out and said it but I reckon one day maybe when yeah. she's on her deathbed she'll be like by no, the way I let the dog not. run away <laughs> and the funny thing was there was a, a neighbour that we were uh, we were really close friends with and and bless her heart she would just always ask have you found missy did missy come back and i'm like no the dog's not coming back because cal yeah. made sure it wasn't yeah. coming back so, but yeah and i look like she's still i reckon if i saw her down the street now like what's this now nearly gosh nearly 20 years yeah. later yeah. i think she'd still ask and i'm like no Steph, yeah. missy's not coming back who let the dogs out yeah, yeah. 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 definitely did not i maintain she did not she did not like the dog uh, <laughs> saw an opportunity and she seized it <laughs> oh that's funny yeah, yeah I, I mean for me i do have a dog and I'm so, i love it so much and mr young you've got a cat and a dog what so my sister has a cat yeah um and my parents have a new dog milo Oh, okay. Oh, it's very nice. young. Yep. Mm. Still training. Mm. Still training, oh. like potty training. Fun mm. times. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Got another question you want to ask them? Who's the biggest foodie? Ooh. Oh, yeah. I love my brunch, but yeah, yeah I'd probably say Cal's closer to stuff that's around her. <laughs> I live yeah. in Lang Lang, and so there's not a hell of a lot to choose from. So, yeah. yeah. We're both brunch, but yeah, she, yeah. I would say, go mm. out more foodie wise. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Mm. Does that also go hand in hand with who also takes more photo of the photos of the food as well? Uh, or do no, neither of you take photos? No. Of yeah, I think we just love our food so much that we don't have time yeah. for photos. It's yeah. like just hoe into it. Oh. <laughs> not, not photo takers. Yeah. yeah. No. Nothing ruins food more than like spending twenty minutes waiting for yeah, someone like, to oh. take photos. Yeah. Yeah. Hang on, hang on. That's just got, got to get the right lighting. Got to wait for all the food to get here. Yeah, no. Nah. Yeah, I tell no. mum and she can't use technology. <laughs> <laughs> so bad. Forty four photos. Exactly. Like, come on, girl, please eat it. Being a foodie. Mm. Uh, and I guess I'll also ask another one. Um, 
Ooh. Is there a sport that you both play together? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Which so is... we... So we... we... We grew up playing basketball, and again, this is where Natalie followed in my footsteps. We played, we both played quite, <laughs> Here we, go. we both played quite elite level basketball yeah. growing up. Um, mm-hmm. And I would now say, and it's probably, but I would say I'm the better basketballer. Natalie that. has since transitioned to netball, and Natalie is a gun netballer. So it's one of those things. I actually now, honestly, and I don't even know if I've said this to you, but I would love to have seen if she had made that transition at maybe 16, as opposed yeah. to mid 20s when you when you took it up um to see what she would have gone down but i, mm. I would stand by that i think i'm the better basketballer yeah and, but she is the is the better netballer i'm a terrible netballer so <laughs> everyone sees me so yeah. tall and they're like oh yeah and i'm i get obstruction i get yeah. stepping i get contact obstruction <laughs> like yeah so yeah but no i think i think that's yeah i mean we grew up we played like um, in like fun teams like basketball mm. together so that was good yeah, yeah. socially yeah, yeah. Mm. obviously too, diff- too big an age group difference to yeah. play like at that elite basketball yeah but we played yeah. socially a few times and then because yeah. I, I continued up until I only stopped playing probably a couple of years ago mm. and that yeah, that was more seniors, but by that stage, she sort of now had then got moved over into a netball style. So, mm. yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. Well, definitely. That sounds good. Yeah, I know um, because for myself growing up and sports and my brother, he was more of the individual sports. I was more of the team sports oh, player yeah. myself. But yeah. 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 Um, each other out. yeah. And I guess when we talk about the family dynamic, there is one very common trope, which is like there's the middle child with the middle child syndrome. And then the <laughs> older one is, you know, more responsibilities. And then the youngest one is the most spoiled one. Would that fall under... Oh, here we go. <laughs> yeah. Well, in between me and Cal, yes. But we all know when there's one boy in the family that it's like the golden ah, child. So yeah. my brother could do no wrong in mum's eyes. Still same now. Like, yeah. he got <laughs> yeah. away with murder. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, like, the, Cal definitely um, being the older. Mm, um, more responsible. I think also, like, with the age difference that we had, like, we did a lot of things together as well so mm. I've kind of like even when it came to like driving and things yeah. like that like um Cal was old enough to be able to uh, teach me to drive yeah. so yeah we spent a lot of fun times and things like that yeah. doing doing things like that and she would like pick me up from school and things yeah. like that if mum was working so she kind of also took on that role as well because yeah mm. it was much fun having your sister do it rather than your mum so true, true. yeah true. like we drive to basketball together and yeah. Yeah, things like that. So. And I think also, again, because there is the five years age difference, like when I was 18 mm. and, and she was 13, you, that was obviously a big difference. But yeah. then by the time, as, as Nat said, by the time she was 16 and starting to learn to drive and I was mm. 21, you know, 22. Yeah. Um, yeah, and probably out of your 120 hours, probably oh, 100, 110 of those I, I taught wow. with her. Wow. Um, yeah. And that was sort of also then when we realised we had more in common, just being mm. that closer of age and that yep. bonding and... Mm. Um, that's when we were still, you know, driving to basketball and stuff mm-hmm. like that. And um, if the next question, who's the better driver, I'm going to say that's me. But I also did teach her, so. Yeah. Well, <laughs> Ooh, I don't know. <laughs> 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 okay. Oh, we want to talk about road rage, though. <laughs> oh, okay. Here we go. Here we go. So, did you argue at all when you were training her to drive? Would you say, or would it? No, it, it was. It was it was surprising because Nat was a very timid driver when she first started mm. and she would, I don't know, like I would be panicking on the inside and yeah. maybe I case, but it would come out really calm and I would just be like, I was like, hey, 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 Dal, do you want to move out from the gutter? Like she, would get, she would get really close to the gutter and probably the biggest thing was um, she would second guess herself. So it'd be like that, go, mm. break, yeah. go. Yeah. And I just said to her, I'm like, if you're going to go, yeah. Just go. Yep. Like that's if you're gonna stop, stop. If yep. you're gonna go, go. Don't mm. second guess yourself. And yep. and there certainly were a few times <laughs> where she's like, yeah. get on the horn, Natty, get on the horn. <laughs> <laughs> Let him yeah. know. Yeah. But, never, yeah. but no, funnily enough, I never never got nah. angry or and I at her pre- driving. It was more than yeah. you know, drivers around if you had that yeah. sort of elf plates up. And I I preferred having her like I loved yeah. her teach me to drive because mum's very much like oh, oh, like this. Yeah. Whereas Cal, because she had not like obviously done it last year, but recent, yeah. she was like, Yeah, you're right to go. And she was like, She trusted in yeah. me and was like, When I tell you to go, you go. And we kind of knew one another on, on the inside. Yeah, on the inside. inside. Yeah. But you know how mums are like, Yep, oh like, yeah. You know? yeah. So, yeah. They'll always hold the handle. Yeah, the, the, the bejesus like, bar. Yeah. <laughs> and then like, Oh, you'll be going maybe like one kilometer yeah. per hour over the speed limit. And they're like, you're going, you're speeding, you're speeding. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And even when you first start, like, there'd be times when that, like, if it was, like, a day like today raining, she, mm. she'd be, she was a little bit hesitant and she'd be like, oh, 
and I'm like, all right, we're not going then. And then yeah. she's like, okay, so she get, you know, yeah. Thing. And then, then it sort of like anything, the more you do it, it clicked in and, and yeah. stuff like that. And then we had a lot of good times and yeah, we did, road trips actually. and tunes yeah. and things like that. And we're still, you know, I was traveling to Ballarat and stuff. Yeah. So yeah, mm-hmm. we spent a lot of time um, then. So that, yeah. was, that was good. Yeah. Chris, yeah. would you have started your teaching degree already back then? Because did you find that helpful? It's like, all right, as a teacher, how would I teach my younger sister to drive, you know? Um, yeah. Look, I, I never consciously thought that, mm. but it, it probably did play into it because I was, I was teaching and mm. um, I'm, I, I probably um, was better at sort of keeping it inside now. Whereas yeah. now you probably see me go, oh, <laughs> she's probably a bit cross. But yeah, it probably, <laughs> it probably did play into yeah. it. Um, yeah, sort of the exterior was, was cool and calm and, yeah. and um, things like that. So it, it probably uh, yeah, subconsciously might have, but yeah. yeah, it wasn't a conscious thought. It just sort of came out. And, mm. Yeah. yeah. That is very interesting because I usually find that siblings have less patience with each other more so than with everyone else. Yeah. That's the way yeah. I usually see it. Like, probably is. Yeah. Probably, 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 probably the reason why my brother and I didn't, didn't, didn't learn. <laughs> <laughs> We've yeah. been that close, so I think we would have clashed. But yeah. yeah. No, it was, yeah, it was some of our best, best yeah. times in the, in the car. Yeah. We did mm. have some good times. We did. <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah. right. That's nice. That's really mm. cool. All right, so that comes to the part in our episode now. Since there's four of us, we're all going to be recommending a different show each. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, with this, per usual, if any of these shows that you do want to watch it, please make sure you do check the ratings. Uh, usually if it's on Netflix in the info section, for example, you can Google it as well. Could be a TV show, could be a movie, could be a book, podcast, anything. Anything that's been perking your interest. Maybe we'll go around the circle like this. Yep, yeah. Sure. yeah. Okay, so last week I think I recommended a zombie show yes so that kingdom. was kingdom mm-hmm. this time kind of following the whole zombie theme again it's hashtag alive it's on netflix yes yeah. it's movie. a um movie so what happens is that the, you follow this person who's like um staying at his parents apartment and he's your typical average gamer who like almost never leaves the house starts streaming kind of like our previous guest mm-hmm. and then what happens is that he wakes up and he's about to go grocery shopping and finds out that there's a pandemic going on, mm. and that pandemic has been turning people into zombies. Mm. And so he's stuck in his apartment as everyone around him turns into zombies. Someone tries to enter his apartment, and then it's basically him trying to survive the whole ordeal mm. whilst running low on supplies such as zombie, uh, like not zombies, um, <laughs> supply, like food, water, yeah. like because and electricity because they're all gradually shutting down mm. from people not being able to work. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Nice. yeah, so that's on Netflix. Okay. It's a Korean movie. I like mm-hmm. it. yeah. uh, if you looked at my Netflix streaming history, it's yeah. all over the shop. I'm everything from, you know, the, the, the trashy love story movie to yeah. documentary serial killers, X, Y, and Z. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, I've just just finished, the most recent one I've just finished uh, was Made. Um, mm. the, ah, the, yes. The 10 part mm. um, series. Um, I also, um, I've gone back and watched um, the Australian show Offspring, so I'm working my way through ah, that. Ah, sick. Yeah, which is, which is a good one. Yeah. Uh, actually, uh, yeah, you forget like little parts of it. So, mm. and obviously when that came out, I watched it weekly because obviously we are yep. on TV before streaming and, yep. and now to watch them in a row, you just pick up so many things. So I'm actually loving that. And I've never done that with a TV series and gone back and rewatched it. Mm, so yeah. I'm really enjoying that. Um, and obviously watch Squid Game and, and, mm-hmm. and I'm, did not like the ending, and I'll happily yep. debate it with anyone. But <laughs> yeah. I, I love I loved the premise of it. It was a bit a bit hard to watch. Um, yeah. But a, a friend put it to me, would I watch it if it was real life? And I was like, no, no, I wouldn't. And then she went a step further and said, what happens if it was criminals who, you know, convicted Ooh. criminals that it was Ooh. in the Squid Game? And I was like, ooh, probably probably would. So, Sounds yeah, they're, they're sort of the, the three that have said Made mm. and Squid Game. Um, yeah. And, yeah, re-watching Offspring and really, yeah. really enjoying yeah. going back and watching it. So. I think I remember the person who it was made based on the book first or something, cause, or something like that, because yeah. apparently it's based on that person's actual own personal experiences of being like a maid or like a worker for a rich family. Yeah, that's just her yeah. and yeah. I, what I really liked about it, it um, obviously it's set in America and mm. it's just the, the the welfare system, how, it, how it's mm. designed, and, and kind yeah. of ours is, is, a, is a little bit better, but yeah, mm. it just really opened your eyes to that. And also... Oh, yeah. 
um, being a, a health professional, like um, mm. obviously respectful relationships and family violence is a big one. And yep. there's, you know, it's so much focus on the physical violence side mm. of things, but it was yep. interesting because there's the other side you saw, mm. the financial violence, the, mm. the emotional violence and things like that. So mm. uh, it was full on, it was full on to watch and it was sometimes hard to watch. And mm. you, you sort of, I found myself getting frustrated going, you know, just leave, but... Mm. It's yep. not that simple, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So that was yeah, deep dive, and then I think I needed something lighter. So after mm. Squid Game and Made, it was Offspring, Offspring. Lovey Dovey, <laughs> perfect. And yep. Probably a few Huge trashy, contrast. trashy movies in there as well, which is which is great as well. So <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, similar thing. So um, I watched Made as well, and I really yeah. loved it. Same mm. thing. It pulled on the heartstrings a yeah. little bit, but yeah, I thought it was really good and something mm. that. Um, yeah, everyone should watch. Mm. Um, and then, so I've got two things because, so my husband works night shift. Yep. So when he's not home, I watch the hopeless romantic stuff. And yeah. then when <laughs> he is home, to, yep. that's when you have to watch like the action, the violence and the killing because yep. they're like completely opposite. Mm -hmm. So somehow I say we meet in the middle, but it's always whatever he wants to watch. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Compromise. <yeah. laughs> so um, similar to Cal, not Offspring, but Wonderland, which was oh, um, an Australian yep. TV series. Mm -hmm. So I started watching that yep. again. Mm -hmm. um, just loved it. Just easy watching. Just, yeah, yeah. like something simple you can just sit back. And, and that's what that's you need. Yeah, yeah something that, like, even if I was on my laptop, I could still, like, you know, know what's yeah. happening and stuff. So, yeah, I thought that was really good, especially being um, Australian TV as well. Yeah. Um, and then at the moment, we're also watching, I think it's called Safe Place. It's on, okay. I think it's on Netflix, which is, yeah. it's like um, a group of people that are all live in, like, a community, like a locked-in community. And one of the guys, his daughter goes missing. And they're just trying to work out, uh, like, what's happened, trying to find it. But in the time, there's, like, all these other events that are happening. Mm. Um, and, yeah, you just get little clues little by little. And you're trying to work out where is she gone, who's yeah. taken her type mm. thing. So, yeah, it's kind of a oh. suspense. And it's got us a little bit intrigued now. Yeah. Almost reminds me of 24 a little bit. <laughs> yeah. 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 So, yeah. Very yeah. The first season, anyway. Yeah. yeah. Before things just started going. Down down yes, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Yeah, and so I guess the last show I'll recommend is uh, I'll, I'll increase the spectrum again. So we'll go from a Korean movie to Australian TV shows and also Squid Game, Korean TV shows as well. And I'm, I'll go towards uh, anime again, I guess. <laughs> I know I went there last week, but sure, why not? I'll just recommend one again. Because similar to Mr. Young, I guess, after I shared my show from last week, I'm like, oh yeah, that show is also similar to this other show I watched. So in my uni days, I watched this um, just this funny anime called Working and it's around the story of this guy and this girl who start working together at a local restaurant and they start having feelings for each other but the problem is the girl was raised by her father to be uh what was it called androphobic or something like that pretty much she's scared of all men oh. so even though she has feelings for this main character guy but every time they come close to each other she has she can't control herself, but just literally punch him in the face. <laughs> <laughs> and so the whole series is about That's them reaction. trying to find ways, how exactly do we, you know, get closer to each other and they try different things where, for example, there's that clamping toy. I don't know if you, oh, you yeah, play yeah. that toy before, you, you grab it and it clamps that oh, thing. Yeah, yeah, so they yeah. start holding hands using that first <laughs> and they're going to move closer. Oh. So yeah, it's like the dad just trained her. It's like all men are evil and horrible. <laughs> so you got to <laughs> stay away from them. So you train her in boxing yeah. and all these things. Uh, so just them trying to overcome yeah. that. So it's a little comedy one to uh, lighten up your week. Mm -hmm. well, yeah. So that brings us now to the end of our podcast. Thank you so much, both of you, for yeah, joining hi. us. Thanks for having us. No, yes. you very you. insightful stories. Uh, hopefully <laughs> we haven't caused any sort of tension, <laughs> bringing back up some old stories <laughs> around a little poor puppy that's gone missing. <laughs> but uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> definitely. You know, uh, for all you viewers and listeners, if you haven't had the opportunity to have both these wonderful ladies as your teachers, hopefully this podcast has been a great way for you to, you know, hear a little bit more about them, what they're passionate about, and you can use this as conversation starters with them when they're doing yard duty or you have them next year, even step up. So yeah, um, from myself, thank you so much both again for yeah, taking your time out today. Thank you. Yep. And if you have any more, uh, you know, comments or suggestions, feel free to find Mr. Jung or myself. Mm -hmm. Let us know and then we can try to incorporate it. But uh, thank you so much once again, everyone. No worries. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Have a good um, evening. Yeah. <laughs> Bye, everyone. See ya. See ya.